How you doing, guys? I'm Trinity Sinners. You're tuning into the infamous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. One month maximum focus challenges in full effect. So you know what that means, guys. Here on the infamous Living Room Network, our challenge this month is to remain focused and stand in our own lane and being focused on the things that are for us. You know, all the things that are put in our path on our journey to aid us and our success so you might want to know how i'm feeling i'm feeling real good uh it's quite rainy outside you know and um i just really can't wait to fall man i'm gonna get back out there and start making some more videos in nature and whatnot but like i said the weather has been too hot lately and it's been doing a lot of raining up here lately man it's just like a rainforest up here in uh, north carolina in the united states of america but anyway guys let's get right down into it seven daily thought problems that will destroy your very own success. Now, when I say say success, what I mean is any success, anything that you might aspire to be in your life. These are the seven deadly thought patterns that, you know, repeat themselves over and over and over in your mind until it just breaks down your whole your your body. You know, you you, you won't have energy. You know, you don't have the desire to do anything anymore. You know, not a lot of good relationships. This is what I mean about success. You have to have success in your, your health life, your relationships. You know, you have to have success in your career, <clears throat> you know, success in, in, in all things, success in how you present yourself, success in your impressions, your presentations, interviews, whatever it may be. First things first is worry. I can't stress this enough. You know, I probably said this on previous videos. Um, if you haven't really tuned into my other videos, please make sure that you're watching, you know, some of my Pre previous videos, my recent videos, some of the best material you'll ever hear in your life, the most positive insights every single day, new information every single day, 24 hours. Please make sure you subscribe, but worrying definitely will not get you success. It will not keep you being successful in all your life. See, life, a journey, you're supposed to be growing, be growing, be growing, be growing. When your friends that were around once upon a time and they're not around them, or when they look back, at you on your Facebook page, page after like three years, your Instagram page or something like that, they, they should be like, dang, they better. They even better. Wow, they even better this year. They even better. That's what they supposed to be saying. People don't supposed to be looking at you and be like, ah, they still the same old Johnny. Oh my God, she's still the same old Brittany. Oh my God, Jessica has not changed since high school. No, no, no. They supposed to be saying, guys, they they evolving. You know, they 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 metamorphosizing. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, they they just getting better and better. They should your your ex boyfriend should say, "Oh my God, I wish I could have her back." You know, your ex boyfriend should be chasing you like, "Oh my God, like you getting better and better and better." And the whole time, I'm still remaining the same old dude who never treats anybody good and don't know what they have until I lost it. You know, the next thing that will keep you from remaining successful is lack of faith. Lack of faith, man. You know, you just a lot of people don't want to believe. A lot of people don't really believe that they can they can be successful. A lot of people don't believe that they can have a, a growth life, you know, a, a life of, you know, a, a dazzling life where life is making them better every day. You know, they're actually making themselves better so they can make other people's lives better in the world a better place every single day. You got to have faith every and everything you do. You got to feel like I'm going to make it. If you got a deadline, you got to feel like. I'm going to get past deadline. If you got a test, you got to be like, I'm going to pass the test. You know, if you're going out on a date tonight, you got to be like, I'm going to succeed in the date. He's going to like me. She's going to like me. I mean, she, come on. I'm already good. I'm the truth. I'm the best. I'm the queen. I'm the king. You know, you got to have faith. But lack of faith, you know, lack of faith would definitely destroy your thought life. You know, it would destroy your thought life because... If you're not believing, you're not receiving, and if you're not receiving, you're just nothingness. You know, you just just straight matter. You know, never evolving. You know, always worrying because you lack faith. The next thing is number three is hate. Hate. You cannot have hate in your heart if you want to grow. And the reason why I say this is because in order for you to grow, you can't see people as like better than you or you can't see this group of people over here as like somebody who intimidates you so therefore you want to hate on them because of their you know what they do their job who they're talking to like why should you spend your time worrying about somebody else if you're trying to be so successful or if you're already such a great person you don't have time to worry about you know the, what somebody else is doing to the point it makes you hate them like 
you know, if you got an ex-girlfriend out there, that's no reason that you should be hating her because if you got a girl that's twice as better than her, like you say you can have, if you were in a relationship with her before, you'd be like, you know what, I can get somebody better than you. Okay, go get that girl. Go get that girl that's better than her, you know, and then when you get her, there should be no reason that you should continue to hate on, you know, your ex-girlfriend. There should be no reason that you can, you should hate on your baby father because he's with somebody else and you're not. There's no reason. I mean, that means you have too much time on your hands and you're not living a good life to the point that you still have to hate another person for the simple fact that they're not, you know, fueling your life anymore. And that's perfectly fine. But anyway, that takes us into number, um, what is it, number four, if I'm not mistaken, which is laziness. Laziness. Laziness is something that is contagious. You know, once you're around enough, enough lazy people, you will want to be lazy. You know, laziness is, is really addictive because it allows you to be comfortable. You know, when you feel comfortable, you know, and you're just relaxed, that's just a sensational feeling of being relaxed and being of ease and comfort and not having a lot to deal with. And so a lot of people fall in that trap and those thought patterns of those those lazy actions, which leads to just being a lazy person, you know, all the way around and you never really grow. You know, and that's perfectly fine if you're a type of person that just like chill, relax and just live a normal life. That's cool, but at least you can do it to the point that nobody is beginning to think of you as a lazy person. You understand what I'm saying? So, number five. Number five is evil. Evil is something that is like a it's like a seven deadly sin on them. It's, kind of, it's like it's worse than anything else that I just named. Um, it's worse than, you know, uh, what, what did I say from the top? Uh, it's worse than worry. It's worse than lack of faith. It's worse than hate. You know, it's worse than being lazy. You know, evil is something that is like you just think bad all the time. You just always think pessimistic. You always think about worst case scenario. You just you just want to walk around thinking about hurting people. You know, you just really have this like this dog eat dog mentality. Like you just want to chew up everybody because you're just mentally, psychologically sick, you know, and there should be no way in the world that you should you know live your life wasting your energy thinking about bad things to do to people that is like a waste of energy what about live your life focus on you and focus on getting some money you know focus on getting some honey girls you know focus on you know living large living lavish you know focus on your employees and making their you know uh career better at, at your job you know Focus on your, your family and making your sister, make sure your sister has what she needs or your brother has what she needs. It's a lot of other things than focus on, you know, to, to then being negative. The next thing is negative words. Negative words is another thing that will lead you into a negative, deadly thought pattern because you're going to always repeat the cycle if you're always using negative words. I mean, that's plain and simple. Like, negative words will kill you and destroy you because you have to talk to yourself as well as other people and i was stressing that yesterday in my other video if you didn't watch my other video on bio electrical energy and stuff like that and how to you know energize your whole atmosphere and stuff like that i need you to watch that video right after this video and i need you to make sure you share one of these good videos with your friends so that they can come apart and on board of the living room network royal caribbean cruise ship you understand but anyway back to what i was saying like negative words you know give life or well, actually Negative words give death, but you also have an opportunity and a choice to give life words. And life creates stuff for you. When you use words of life, it creates a future for you. It creates a journey for you in, word, in ways that you can't see. And you start manifesting great things into your life all because you're changing your word world. Okay, so last but not least, number seven. Seven most deadly thought pattern that you could adopt is just, your, just giving power to your ego. You know, now there's a difference in being confident, you know, and feeling like you're going to win, you know, like Floyd Mayweather, he, he's an undefeated, you know, boxer, you know, and he's been boxing for 21 years and he just really has a lot of confidence behind his record. I mean, his record tells, speaks for itself. Mechanics don't lie. Numbers don't lie. And so if you're a person of confidence and you just are really good at your craft and you really feel like you will complete each feat, your track runner, you feel like you'll run faster in the next hundred yard dash. You know, you'll be the next world Olympian or whatever you want to call yourself. That's perfectly fine. Ego is totally different from that. Ego is, is something that you can't control, like, if you let it out of control. That's why I say it, it returns to a daily thought pattern if you do not learn how to control your ego. You know, and this is very important because your ego can get you in trouble. If you don't have control over your ego, it can get you in trouble. And it's okay to have an ego because we all do. But what I'm saying is you have to have control over your mind. 
again that points us back to the bioelectrical energy and whatnot so watch that video when you get done with this video in the meantime i'll see you next time it's trending sentence and you're tuned into the infamous living room network speak up let your voice be heard leave a nice comment at the very bottom follow me on instagram i will respond send me a, a direct message <laughs> i'll see y'all later peace